puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but the only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets himself. I... We need to learn how this happened. Alright, so when we can use his fire amp, did he say we could use... Usually I'm using Vanigi's craft machine at the hotel. This thing here then, yeah? Craft a legion arm. We can craft a flamberg, which is a flaming arm. A dusex machina. Motion sensing landmine. When the landmine is buried on the ground, it explodes. It not seems very... Very situational, and I don't really see that as being very useful. Pandemonia, Legion Arm Fire is a sticky acidic substance. It corrodes enemies that step into the wide pool of acid. See, now that seems alright, but again. Like I'd have to wait for an enemy to walk through it. Uh, Aegis, a Legion Arm that can block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embedded device explodes and deals damage to that enemy. That seems quite handy. Can make a weapon, make weapon attacks while guarding. When the fable slot remains, you can parry by pressing the fable button. Came to charge. When before I make a came to charge, charge for more powerful attacks. Well, that looks... Ah, so far, that one's probably one of my favourites. Falcon Eyes. The armor piercing shells from a distance. The launch shells explode soon after they land. Increases the explosion range. Quick one-time shot is available after firing. Can be used while dodging. So yeah, one of Falcon Eyes or this one seems like the best bet. But the only thing we can make, we don't have a Legion plug for any of those at the moment, so the only thing we can make is the Firearm. Which again, seems quite handy. It's an advanced arm. A wave of fire increases fire attack range, enhanced fire after a certain time upon a continuous fire attack. Fire explosion becomes available upon a continuous fire attack. Well, since we've got enough to make this, we might as well make it. And... And we'll switch it to... It weighs a little bit more. Let's see, we can, can we modify it? We do, we have one Legion Calibre to modify it. Uh, and that's increased the fire attack range. Might as well do that then. Alright, let's go test it out. Real quick. And then we can have a play a bit with weapons as well in, in a moment. And uh, Where is the training room again? Oh, there it is.
That seems... Huh? I mean, I'm happy with that. Seems alright. Let's repair my weapon since I've been completely wailing on a puppet for no reason. And... What do we do now, I guess? It doesn't... Nobody's told us what to do. Actually, she's got a new, uh... Ask about Sophia's power. I am able to wield Ergo. They call me a listener. Because I can hear Ergo. I inherited the power from my mother, who hated it. Called it the Devil's Power. So I kept it a secret that I could talk to puppets. Now you are the only one my voice reaches. So I beg you, please, save Krat. Right, so I guess we go back to that area and go down now, since nobody's told us what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, see, I do have some more... Um... Yeah, I do have some more Ergo to spend, but I don't know what to put it in for the time being, so... Until I have a player bit of weapons, so... I'll use my power. Have a... Thing. We got an advanced arm, so advance is definitely a way forward. Stamina is now only going up by three, so I don't know if it's worth it. We can improve our, improve our motivity and our technique to boost our attacks. Um, yeah, I think I'll get my health to 25. And advance to 20. Maybe vigor capacity to 20 as well. I oh, know, I just want to spend my points before we move on to the next area for now. And then I'll... I'll have a play a bit off camera. When it comes to... to finding which weapons I like. This one seems to be doing alright for now. We can switch our grinder stone there. Right then, let's go to... The next area, start beating down some more fools. Weapons are divided to handles and blades, different blades and handles can be assembled. Weapon assemble is available through Stargazers and Eugenie. Well, since this could be done through Stargazers, it might be worth maybe assembling a couple now, but... I know, I, I want, just want to have a play around and see which works best for me. For now, this weapon seems to be doing all right, so we'll just use. We'll just stick on this one. Whoop. And obviously, as we learned before, do not punch these barrels because they explode on you. How far seems massive now. Hello. Do you not want to pay attention to me, mate? Really? One perfect block? Broke his weapon? Did a fair bit of damage with that one though, didn't he? Overheating me, please. This is cheating. Look, you piggybacking Gemini's iron protection. Piggybacking off the uh, barrel explosion. 
when he got two feet into the mine and uh, I already lost like, all of my health pretty much. Guy over there. Dim ergo fragment. Yeah, there's a guy over there. There's two guys over there who throw bombs. Oh, I fell off. Stop touching the barrels. I've died nearly twice now, mainly because I keep smacking the barrel like a tit. Give it. Hey! Where are you going, mate? Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant. Well, that's where you need to upgrade a weapon when you get it to. when you put so many. Hey! You missed. Yeah, so for my advance, but I need the opposite to that. Oh, no. Oh, I know. No, no. Fucking barrels, man. That's going to be the bane of my existence in this area, by the looks of it. Didn't even touch that one. You know what, I mate? Mean? Stick your bombs up your ass, please. Big pipe wrench head, big pipe wrench handle. And a fable catalyst. Good to see they're still giving them out like candies. Hidden moonstone. Special purification and poop. This is where we came down. Oh, there's another big dude there. Oh no. Come on in, mate. Behind him. Damn it, Mr. Champ. Carrier's amulet. That seems like a carry weight thing. Upgrade sweat plus three. Uh, grinder modification tool, weapon. We got pipe wrench, which is a motivity. Got the new arm. Ah, oh, we got armlet. Yeah, increase weight limit. An amulet that can be equipped to on a puppet. Information and memories that are useful for a movement can be imprinted on a symbol to draw out special power. The puppet walk and walk. They save their final steps for the Baron Swamps, the puppet's gate. So, having the extra amulet slot might be quite nice. This, yeah, doesn't say how much it increases our carry rate by, so. This might be a case of. Like. Well, you can't really, only. I was going to say save it, upgrade it for terrible reload.
nearly have healing items already. <laughs> We've only been in here for like two minutes. I need to get my game together. Oh, that's a stargazer there. Maybe not. Cool. Let's uh, make sure we back to full health and healing. These bodies. Could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this? I'd imagine so, judging by the way there's puppets everywhere. <laughs> Can't go in there then. Where do we get right into that one? This guy's got a... Ooh, there's a grenade thrower on the roof. Of course there is. Oh, he's got all of an arm on him. Oh, these these guys are quicker. Thermite. Oh, you were wild hitting there, mate. I have no idea you were there. Where did that go on the roof go? There he is. Bumbling this way. Back down and leave me alone, please, mate. Another thermite. The thermite's going to be important in this area by the looks of this. A saw blade. That's probably going to be something along the lines of a sharp pipe, but you throw this one and it cuts. Nothing in there. Come on, bro. Okay, I bet their range is deceptively long. Like you don't think you'll think you'll be all right, but you still get poked by it. Guarantee it. Always worth having a look around. Resistance. We could drop down there. Let's go across the bridge where we're meant to go and then we'll have a look. Just in case I miss something. Oh, you bitch. Should have gone the way I was going. Resplendent Ergo Fragment. There's lots of explosive barrels here. I'm not liking that. There's a, sh oh, there's a butterfly. There's two butterflies. Crescent Moon Fragment. Yeah, so that's the one I needed. Another Crescent Moonstone. So we got two of them. We needed them and we got them. Yes, yeah, so we were up there. This is the way we would have dropped down anyway, so... I mean, we far through the bridge for no reason. Uh, what happens if we go up? Or do we go this way first? Let's go this way first. Moonlight Town Guide. Moonlight Town is the lowest place in the city where pilgrims prepare for their journeys. Since St. Frangelico met the one-winged angel and founded the church, Moonlight Town has become known for the place where pilgrims are lifted to cathedral by pulley and prepare for the pilgrims. Andreas' reputation was its peak when was at its peak when he was appointed as a priest. At that time, Krat was only a poor country town, but Andreas didn't mind and devoted himself to taking care of people. 
They were even saying that St. Frangelica himself had returned. Moonlight Town actively helped priests good deeds and always acted together as colleagues who de deliver the word of God. The decision to accept the alchemists from outside and revive Krat was made in Moonlight Town. After all, it was the birthplace of Krat we know today. Today we have cable railways instead of pulleys and the city of the future instead of a country village, but our virtues remained unchanged, just like how the angel wrapped St. Frangelico in his wings when he fell in the cold, people should help each other. A place lower than any other at Moonlight Town is proof that the virtue is still here. Oh. I must say, from this sort of area, I'm getting very big Resident Evil 4 vibes. Oh, people charge on you with pitchforks and... All that sort of stuff. I've got a perfect guard on the first one. Do I have to keep, like, taking my guard off and then tapping it back on repeatedly in order to get continuous perfect guards for that? Got a graveyard here. Another graveyard here. Let's have a look in here. There might be some hidden treasure. Doesn't look like it. Well, I do see shiny things in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Poked in the back onto a fire barrel. That was just nasty. Ah. What a bunch of bitches. You don't seem to be getting very much ergo these days. Dodge, dodge. Before we get set on fire again. Let's draw them to us. Throw your bombs, mate. You're gonna have to come to me eventually. It's got a royal tea bag in me, your name on it. I let the bridge is repaired. Bet I still fall through it. With a star fragment. I'm not short on those. So if I get stuck on a boss, at least I know I can summon. Oh crap. Alright, maybe we shouldn't have dropped down then. Yeah, if I get stuck on a boss, at least I know I can summon, what, 37? Spec first now to help me. <laughs> Piss off with your pitchfork, will you? There's another one. I'm trying to tell me there's a tough boss fight coming my way or something. Know where they are? There they are. Oh, where's that bitch? How did that get me? Eat my ass on that one, mate. Oh, where's your mate? You mate with a stabby pitchfork. Oh crap, I didn't kill him, I didn't kill him.
we just have to rage attack then. Star fragments. Star fragments. Oh, they just randomly bust through the wall. Another saw blade. That's why I didn't see them, because they just randomly bust through the wall. I'll be taking them back, thank you. And that wasn't an explosive barrel, it was uh, just a guy, another guy in the back there with a bomb. Workshop Union Standard Corrosion Resistance Converter. That sounds like poison resistance to me. How do we get out of here? Ah. They set up a whole booby trap. Thermite. Another treasure over here. Do you Murgo fragment? Go grave robbing for some Murgo? Hello. Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. I still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Are you a stalker? Give the stalker greeting, do nothing. Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. We got the cable rail. I wonder what would happen if we'd done nothing then. Interesting. It'd be good to do a different playthrough and just select all the different options that you chose. in Moonlight Town, we hope your preparations for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. I kid, I kid, Frangelico, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of the beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! Well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> you, uh, you look annoyed. What I do... Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. That was pretty good, uh... Speech in there, I must admit. Oh, I found a stargazer. Oh, something's off. Do you see that over there? I recognize dead puppets, that's to be expected, but what is that? Path of Misery. <laughs> that seems a fitting name. Oh, hang on. I spot some shiny things behind a... Behind a box. A vivid ergo fragment. What the hell is that? Oh, might as well heal and get all my health items back, considering it's a new area and nobody's going to respawn. No ID 
idea what those things are, pal. Approach with caution. Well, this is even more Resident Evil 4 vibes. Are these the people that took that guy's medicine? He said they changed, didn't he? Is that what happened to him? They basically turned into zombies from the wrong game? Well, that guy over there is having a massive fit. Look at it. A hidden moonstone. We've got loads of them there. Carcasses are weak to fire. This means their bodily fluids is also interesting. So, yeah, they definitely hate fire. Well, I'm actually, like, I get a cross between Resident Evil 4 and Evil Within here, because you go get, in with, if, I don't know if you've ever played Evil Within, but when you walk through Evil Within, you get a... Like a broken down village like this with crazy people in it. And then you get so far through it and they all mutate like this as well. I need you's urge. I've got loads of those repair tools now, isn't it? Another radiant urge effect. Let me get down where that other guy was. Must be further off. Seem to go down pretty easy. Oh yeah, where are all these guys are? How do we get down there? Yeah, there we go. That's in the question. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Definitely gonna have to start working on my attack, because this weapon now takes three hits to kill an enemy rather than two. I could have just broke. You serious? I could have just fucking broke through that. It's the sunlight. It looks like something shiny on the floor, dude. side to them taking three hits though if I have guard break I can get all my health back. When Saint Frangelico falls and breathes his last breath the angels of God will look after him. Sure they will. What is happening? What's their problem? Wait, wait their bodies are strangely altered. I don't know what's going on but keep those eyes of yours open. Yeah, these are definitely the people mutated by the Doctor's Serum, I'm gonna say. Ooh, what breaks if you perfect guard them? Oh, there is stuff. Sawtooth wheel. Fantastic. I do like the way the light went out though when I broke it. Does that mean everybody here is now dead? 
fire abrasive. Maybe we should be upgrading the flame dagger now. Since everything seems to be want to be fire. God, I pray with all my heart, please withdraw your wrath and crap. Just as you enveloped separate Fragilico with your angel wings, please save us all. Wow. The judgment was unavoidable because of your corruption. Please let us at least spare my child your wrath. This baby has done nothing wrong. Please let Charlotte enter heaven. If there's anyone who finds this place, please pray for us and know that there were desperate sadness here. There was desperate sadness here. Pray, you who are exhausted and injured. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please consider watching some of my other videos, smashing that like button or dropping a sub. Of course, you don't have to. It's entirely up to you, but it does help me out and help my channel grow a little bit. Most of all, though, just a massive thank you to those of you who are watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.